pleasure to be standing here before you today. I Unfortunately, I missed yesterday, but I'm really glad that I'm able to make it uh, on this second day of the forum. And my heartfelt gratitude to Nuru, the organizers of you know this beautiful, beautiful event, for host for letting us be your host. Um, I think you said it beautifully. You, you are uh, fueling the renaissance of uh, the African financial world and the landscape and what it means. And I believe that the work there's a strong connection between the work that you do and the essence of who we are here. We are on the receiving end of, of the financial, uh, what do I call it, of the capital. So your work and the remarkable work that this empowering platform champions and the work that we do here, I believe they're both rooted in fostering you know, sustainable growth, empowering communities, and nurturing the talents of the future. And Norskin really embodies the very essence of innovation and transformative impact. Um, as you could tell, the facilities here, we're a campus. We're a campus for entrepreneurs. One of the biggest on the continent, we like to think. And our journey in Kigali started in December 2020, when Norskin Foundation, which is a Swedish nonprofit organization founded by Nicholas, um, the co-founder of one of the largest fintechs in the world, called Klarna, um, decided to build this amazing campus for entrepreneurs here in Kigali. And the campus had the capacity, has the capacity to host about 1,200 entrepreneurs, making it, again, the biggest hub of entrepreneurs, physically at least, on the continent. Um, and here at Norskin, we stand on three pillars. The first one is what we call the Norskin houses, what you see, the facility, the infrastructure. Why? Because we believe that, you know, entrepreneurship, you cannot be on your own island. You cannot survive on your own. You need a community of like-minded people that come together to exchange ideas, to talk about your own challenges, because they're very unique um, challenges that they face. And so we build world-class facilities for entrepreneurs to thrive in. Um, we currently have one in Stockholm, which is the main campus that started about seven years ago. And we have one in Kigali, the only one on the continent for now. Maybe next one will be Zambia, Ghana, who knows? Somewhere on the continent, hopefully. And uh, one in Barcelona as well. So here the hub brings to get together not only entrepreneurs, but what we strive to do is create an ecosystem around our entrepreneurs uh, where we have the best players from incubators, we have accelerators, we have programs, uh, trainers that come here just to support our entrepreneurs and they don't have to go outside to look for that. They're literally here running after the entrepreneurs, asking for business, which is usually the other way around. So we're really making this about uh, entrepreneurs and we want to put rocket boosters on the entrepreneur scene on the continent. Um, not just for Rwandans, this house houses people from uh, you know, Nigeria, we have entrepreneurs from Côte d'Ivoire, we have entrepreneurs from uh, Tanzania, Kenya, Uganda. So it's very diverse. And it's, it, in, in its diversity, it's mostly Pan-African diversity, which I love. That's the first pillar. The second pillar is about funding. We have our own funding arm dedicated to invest in the best startups in Africa. Two of the, f two of the th three funds that we have are dedicated to uh, African tech startups. One is a $200 million dollar uh, fund for growth tech startups, and the other one is Africa Seed Fund, a pre-seed fund of about $20 million um, dedicated to early stage startups. And here we really look at tech startups because our founder is a believer in technology. He truly believes that using technology, you can only scale rapidly when you're using technology and reach people at a massive scale with, uh, with technology. So we tend to focus on tech startups but in Kigali, we still have a nascent ecosystem, so we have a lot of SMEs as well uh, sitting here in our house. And third, um, the third pillar here is catalytic initiatives. We develop and run initiatives with high impact that, again, direct the spotlight on the entrepreneurs that we have. 
And one particular initiative that I would love to share with you today, and I believe is relevant for, for this forum, is what we call the Women in Business Initiative. And the Women in Business Initiative is a joint initiative between Norsken and the Embassy of Sweden in Rwanda to support and accelerate the growth of women-led ventures. We have about, we have a cohort of about 20 women that we bring in our space, uh, we focus on them, we bring all our energy and resources to make sure that uh, maybe two, three, four out of them will be the role models of tomorrow. Um, and, you know, so the primary goal is to create, again, role models who can build successful ventures. Um, and consequently, we want to raise the proportion of funding that is going to women-owned ventures because we strongly believe that entrepreneurship is the best way to support women's economic empowerment. So today, when I was looking at the program, I noted that one of the learning outcomes for the trainings that I think many of you will go through today is to understand the role financial sector actors can play in enabling women-owned MSMEs to thrive in the transition to a net zero economy. And I'm personally convinced that the future of the financial landscape rest, rests on the shoulders of dynamic and visionary women like the ones we have in the room today. So, <laughs> pressure, but no pressure. <laughs> I hope that the learnings will spark conversations, truly, that illuminate the path forward for African women-owned uh, businesses and ventures. And not just me, I think, I believe Norskin, uh, the institution as well, envisions a landscape where financial empowerment knows no bound, right? So I, I will seize this moment to ask, as many of you are in this space, the financial industry, if you want or should you want to support uh, the vision, the work that we do here, some of our entrepreneurs, I invite you to reach out. Do not hesitate to reach out. I'll be around. Um, I'll make sure that, yes, you have a good time today. But uh, let's talk business, let's exchange ideas and forge connections that will ripple beyond these walls. I thank you for your kind attention, and I hope that you have a fruitful day today. Thank you.